Guys, on the previous clip, I showed you how to make a double look uh, trace as for the dangle that you see over here. I'm now going to show you how to bait it. I've got chocker and a piece of mackerel. Very simply, I'm going to take it and cut it at an angle. I'm cutting a very thick piece first of all, which is from the back. So that's quite a thick piece. And then I'm going to cut two thin pieces. So basically very thin. And it's very important to have a sharp knife when you're doing this. I'm now going to take a piece of chocker about the same length and size as that. So I'm going to trim it down a bit. That should be good enough. Okay, what we do first of all, I'm just going to take my chocker and hit it. I'm putting the skin, that's the inside, that is the skin side. I'm going to hit the skin side to soften it up. See how big that became. Okay, step one thick piece of mackerel is going on first, and that always faces down. Silver side on the top, the um, dark side towards the actual sinker. And I'll show you why. When you cotton it up, that side actually becomes more aerodynamic that way. So, what you're going to do is just grab some cotton. And don't be afraid to put a lot of cotton on this one. What you're trying to do is squeeze out as much of the blood as you can and the oils as you can on this piece. Okay. So that is basically step one. <coughs> step two, take another thin piece, lay it next to it, like so, and again, with the dark side towards the end. And the third piece, down it again. And guys, put a lot of cotton. It just squeezes out all the oils and the juices of the mackerel. Okay, so basically that's what it looks like already. You can throw that pretty much like that if you want, but I always like to add a bit of chocker. So what I'm going to do is just undo that. Okay, and this chocker I've hit, and you can see how paper thin it is. My fingers are already coming through it. So to do that, just wrap it over it and roll. And you don't have to put too much cotton on it. So what we're doing is just wrapping it nicely all the way to the end. My scissors. Just cut off any excess that there might be on it. Now we take a single hook that was loose and go in under the chocker and pull it down. So your chocker is basically going to, your hook is going to sit like that in the chocker. And then we just wrap it up again. And this hook should be nice and proud. And as you see, that is the bait when the sinker is placed on the hook. 
small part. There. It's a very small aerodynamic bait that you'll throw a country mile with. You've got two hooks two very sharp hooks exposed when this hits the water that comes off tends to float up a bit with there is flotation in it and any fish preferably a gray shark or hammer or flatfish for that matter will eat that and that's it there you can see all the blood already coming through starting to ooze through the actual chocker itself Quick and easy, guys.